welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Today is my second episode of this very strange, interesting game. And I'm going to go straight into it. In the last episode, we finished off with writing that very strange poem. So we're going to see how things develop with each of the characters. And Fulbert is getting to know them very well. Oh no, I think I picked a different favourite. Oh. Monica. Hi again, Fulbert. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Fulbert. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for of a quit. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. May, may I have a look at that manga collection, please? Please? M m m Natsuki finds herself stuck between seeing Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Thank you, thank you. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry guys, Fulbert always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, how dependable. So Yori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh no. <laughs> How come? You and Fulbert can become good friends too. Uh, um, so Sayori? Huh? Mm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she, she just put me into. Oh, oh. <laughs> you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. So you already made it sound like a big deal when it's not really. Uh, what do I do? Huh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, I won't make a big deal. <clears throat> yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. In my part. The, the, this is... <laughs> How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. You read... Thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book right out of her hands and throw it across the classroom. No. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I don't know what she's looking for. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening 
in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm... That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this very seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Food always does the trick. Just saying. Well, what kind? Oh, she's getting so excited. Ah, uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> uh, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. By therein lies the unexpected reason that I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Well, I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? He's actually considering this? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. No, <laughs> don't say that so loud. Mm. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, it's true. I know, I know. You're already, you're always looking, you're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. <sighs> You're still oversleeping every day. I just blew a bubble onto my laptop. That was embarrassing. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. No, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... it's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over your face. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Here's a flirt. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either, and there's toothpaste stain on the collar right there. I tried to wipe off the stain with my fingers, but, but nobody would ever notice that. <sighs> of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Siori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. This fulvert is really fulvert of himself. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, well, this is a different angle. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? But don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Oh, I missed... I, I, I double clicked. Ah, 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 ah. Uh... I guess I missed what she was gonna say. Whoop. I guess something. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to... I don't know how to approach the situation. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? It did when I bought it like five years ago. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? <laughs> it seems my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. <laughs> Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then I wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you can take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are of taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aww. But I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh. Yay! Oh dear. This is gonna be interesting. Bulbit, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I feel to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! 